yo 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 what's up everybody welcome to my second youtube video this is the cape master here for my doing my second review today's review is going to be on superpowers superman and um, as you can see here in this video i have a pile of some of my custom capes that have already been ordered by some of my customers and here is a batman with my custom cape draping really nice looking really good so today's video like i said is going to be on superman uh, as you can see i have the whole uh the whole set here from the first run we have uh dark side superman and batman as you can tell here in the back of the of the card there's superman is number one dark side number two and batman number three i haven't came across the batwing or the supermobile so as soon as i find those i will be purchasing them and adding them to my collection and i'll probably do a review on them as well okay guys so let's get started so i already went ahead and i um cut open a superman but before i do that let's just look at the package re really quick so as you can see here this superman is a little bit bigger than the original uh they added the big the big gripe like i said in my first video is that they added they added a tag in the cape connecting to the plastic inside so you can tell right there in between his knees there's a little tag there that they that they applied so that the cape would be connected to the packaging which is i believe which is a big mistake because that ends up causing a hole on the cape so that's the big big gripe that i've been hearing also the quality of these capes are really really bad uh they're actually like a satin kind of a uh, fabric so here is the the one for for batman right here uh it's you know i actually actually ironed it out to kind of get rid of some of the wrinkles up here but but anyway but that's the original from batman so let's go ahead and take a look at superman here so i already removed it off the card uh, i i cut it off and as you can tell the big big uh logo on the back which does not look very appealing so it's way different than the original from the 80s as you can tell here on my cape uh, the logo is more similar to the one from the 80s look at look at the difference big giant logo on the back and then mine is like the the original logo but there's the tag right there that causes the hole on the figure so let's get this out of the package and see uh, what this what the superman looks like with their cape okay so it looks like the cape is tucked away here in the packaging and then there's the tag right there so let's get the let's get some scissors and get rid of the tag all right so let's take a look at the cape and we will get rid of the tag and there you go guys let's see if you can see that there's that there's that hole on the cape look at that it's not focusing there you go look at that there's that nasty hole and then here's the logo and this cape has no no character it's just a piece of fabric with absolutely no character there's no draping around around the shoulders so let's put it on and let's see what it looks like but before we put it on let's look at superman so the blue is a little bit darker than the original but you know what though to be honest with you i really like this figure it it still brings that nostalgic vibe i don't have a problem with the face you know it can't be exactly like the vintage one you know why why make it exactly like the vintage one so i don't have a problem with that it still has the same vintage vibe the same 80s vibe i really like it i did hear some people complaining about the belt so as you can tell in the front it's painted you know the two red stripes right there are painted 
but in the back they didn't they didn't paint it there's there's a spot here where you can see where they they should have painted it red so i mean i guess they're being a little lazy there but i don't really see a purpose of them painting it because it's supposed to have a cape so it's going to cover that so anyway but yeah it has five points of articulation on, on, on the neck the arms the two arms and the legs here and the knees the knees also bend so there's no swing action on these figures which is fine with me i don't have a problem with it i did i did hear somebody uh in another video mention that the problem with the old superpowers with the swing action that they would do is they would the kids would play with them rough and they would and they would get damaged and broken which is true a lot of the a lot of the um the legs would fall off from the inside so i'm sure you guys have have seen that so anyway let's go ahead and put on the cape see what it looks like okay so here is superman with his paper looking cape <laughs> So there it is that's the way it looks in the back it's you know the quality is not good the the up here on the neck it it just it doesn't drape right it's it bun bunches up here on the neck maybe maybe you can mess around with it so yeah i guess you can mess around with it kind of get it to stretch out but even then it just it just doesn't look appealing so here we go so here's superman with his cape with his original cape all right now let's go ahead and put my cape on and see what it looks like okay here we go now the fabric quality on my capes are a lot better you know it has more of a vintage vibe uh the look at the way it fits around the neck it's perfectly it perfectly sits around his neck the back logo isn't big see there you go and then and then it has you know it fold it folds over it looks more like a real cape see how it just it folds over you can you can mess with it and you can put it over his shoulders you know you can do that with it or you can just simply just have it fold over like like that so i mean i personally like my capes better i mean i know i'm the creator of those capes and i know and a lot of my customers they've been buying these action figures and they've been placing orders to replace the mcfarland capes with mine so as you can see i have a pile of capes down here all these capes are already sold so if you guys want to purchase a cape and to replace the mcfarland cape for your figure you can go ahead and click on the link on the link in the bio and uh you can reach me on instagram you can place an order through instagram or through my ebay my instagram handle is the cape master that's also the name of my, the name of my store on ebay the cape master and for a limited time what i'm doing is i am going to sell both superman and batman together for 18 dollars plus four dollars shipping domestic shipping normally i sell the capes for ten dollars that's what i sell them on ebay for so for a limited time it's going to be if you buy the pair you get them for 18 dollars for the pair for the set it's only going to be for a limit limited time and then after that i'm going to just go back to the original price of of ten dollars each so there you go guys here let me know what you think in the comments section what do you guys think about um about this mcfarland cape compared to to my cape what, which cape do you guys think looks looks better uh like i said i don't have a problem with the figure i think the figure looks really cool Let's see here he is right next to batman i'm going you know they, they look cool i really really like them and also what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up dark side on another video and i'm going to create a cape for him as well even though this figure does not come with a cape the original came with one 
So I'm gonna go ahead and try it out to see what it looks like. I'm gonna try to create the same cape that uh, the dark side had in the vintage line. I already do sell a dark side cape. I actually sell every single superpowers cape available. I sell, obviously I sell Superman. I sell Batman, you know, the, the, the blue one that matches the superpowers one. I sell the dark side cape, Shazam, Dr. Fate, Mr. Miracle. Uh, who else is there? Samurai. I make Samurai's vest. So I make them all. I may even have the Wonder Woman lasso. I make the Robin cape. So I make, I make every single cape that the old superpowers line had. I also make Star Wars. I also make uh, Masters of the Universe. Basically, any cape that you need, I actually make. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to, to look at this video. Go ahead and leave a comment and let me know what you guys think about this, this new McFarlane Superman. Let me know which cape you like better. The Cape Master cape or the McFarlane cape with the hole and the giant logo on the back. So, so that's going to be it, guys. And I hope you guys have a good evening. And until next time, Cape Master out.